Hey guys, welcome to another pig art video. So today we are gonna do a back to school. I know it's kind of late because other YouTubers are doing their back to, their back to school like last month or earlier this month because it's like more ahead and school is about to start in like a month or a couple weeks. I don't know, but today we are gonna do our back to school video. Our back to our back to school thing. So first we are going to be decorating um, notebook, second smelly pencils, third sharpener, the DIY sharpener. So let's get to the video. So what you will need obviously to decorate a notebook is a notebook. I have this tiny one this tiny one that I'm going to be decorating. I've already pre-decorated this one. It's a sketch pad. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's kind of like under the seat. So yeah. And then, oh, I forgot to introduce my little brother. And he's going to be decorating. this tiny notebook. <laughs> so yeah, what you would need for this DIY is paint brushes. These are worn out but so usable. A plate to apply your paint. And then paint. So I'm going to be using, I'm just going to bring out different paints. We'll be decorating this as Amanda. If you don't know me, then you don't know I'm going to with them. Okay. Okay. So obviously you will need to get your paint. We use green to cover the words. Do you, what do you want to do? Just square out all the colors you're going to use onto a, a plate or napkin or whatever what colors are you going to use I don't really know yet I'm sticking on the oh yeah this is the square okay well Grab a paintbrush and I'll start painting your design. You cut it. So you can't see all the mess. Oops, I am. I paused. So what I'm doing before I write the panda is I'm doing like messy lines with darker green, kind of like so it looks like bamboo sticks. I mean, if you're not doing a panda, I guess you could do whatever design you want, like polka dots, the stripes, or whatever. So, yeah. So, guys, I've finished with the bamboo. I kind of mixed a little bit of white with the green to kind of make give that impression that there's, like, layers of the bamboo forest and now I'm gonna do the panda. So I have this really stubby little brush. It's like all the hairs are gone. It's just a little stub. So what I'm gonna do is with that I'm gonna dip in the little white kind of draw like the face. I'm kind of going for like the panda face emoji because like its face is like yeah I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for that kind of shape and so this is his little notebook. It's very, very cute. It's and half it's green and half white. Maybe not half white. Um, half pink and I draw a little um, paint a little heart. So what I'm gonna do is kind of like draw the outline of the head. Uh, this is white. It looks like it's gonna come. Design. 
And remember, if you're gonna do a design, or like, oh sorry, <laughs> a figure <laughs> on top of a design, make sure the design, like the bamboo in my case, is dried, completely dried before you paint the like, design on top of it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Guys, um, here's like the kind of the out shape of the panda's face. Not centered, but kind of gives it more dimension. So yeah, now I'm gonna let this dry and wait to do the face. So guys, I am done with my notebook. So this is how it came out: a little panda bear in its natural habitat, the bamboo forest. So what we are gonna do now. We're gonna make the smelly pencils. It's really a um, a really easy step. And if you see a paintbrush come in, don't pay attention to it. It's just my sister. She's painting her notebook too. But so you'll what you'll need for the smelly pencils is pencils. So pen, you would need pencils, just some normal number two pencils, and some essential oils or something scented, I guess and paint. So what you'll do is that you'll get your paint, you do one right, and squirt it out, and then mix the essential oil in. So what the smells I have right now is orange, grapefruit, lavender, and lemon. Uh, my favorite smell is the lemon. I don't know why, it just has that aroma that's like makes you want to like yeah and this one I have the lemon smell in it this one I made like a week ago maybe I'll put stickers on it uh, but like I made it like a week ago and its smell is still very strong I also made another it one like pink, but I don't know it smells like lemon. so I have this lavender one I'm gonna just put it pour it into the paint and you're gonna mix it up with a toothpick or a paintbrush. Just pour some So you're just gonna mix it. And then paint it, so that's it. So you just need to paint it, that's really much in, just have it dried, decorated, painted, whatever. But now, so what? But now for the sharpener. This was already a sharpener container that I painted with nail polish. I was like a pineapple. But yeah, but I lost the sharpener that came into it, so I got this, one of those little sharpeners, and you're just gonna hot glue in it. I would have hot glued it already, but my hot glue's broken. But you don't have to use like already um, sharpener to, paint it, whatever. You could use a Tic Tac container. I've seen people use those. And you could like shape, make like little hands if you're doing like a little figure with clay. Just be creative. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.